anticipating getting a survey out very quickly that just is a little bit more information about how people are using their libraries and what they're looking for in libraries. But first, Pima County's plans to close multiple libraries are now on hold. Good evening and thank you for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Mary Coleman. And I'm Dan Maris. This comes after many in the community voiced their concerns. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda has been following this story and joins us live from the main library in downtown. And Emily, what can you tell us about this update? Yeah, well, Dan and Mary, the original proposal suggested closing this location in the Siver, which would give the county time to downsize it. Now, this would be followed by several other closures. But when many in the community heard about these plans, they started voicing their disapproval, which made the county rethink their plans. Over 11 months ago, discussion began on how to maximize Pima County library staff and continue bringing services to the community. That included closing some libraries such as Catalina, Santa Rosa, El Pueblo and Southwest. In August, a draft plan was introduced to do both. People are using libraries a little bit differently. Um, we have a fewer staff than we had in the past, but we're working on those staffing issues as well. We're in a real time of transition. That plan has since been put on pause after an outpouring of concern from the community. We've heard from individuals about how far they would have to travel to go to the next nearest library. It, lots of folks talking about the programs that they love at their libraries. And so um, we're not surprised that uh, that those positive feelings are there. Pima County Library Director Amber Mathewson says they are now working on plans to get more feedback from the community on what they want from their library system. We hope to have more robust community forums and um, even some focus groups so that we can really hear from individuals what it is that they're looking for in their libraries now, but also in the future. Matthewson says it's important to get this feedback as libraries play a vital part in the community. Libraries are one of the last places in our communities that are free and open to everyone. There's something for everyone, whether they're looking for a job, homework help, or even just some recreation time or some time in a quiet space or a place to gather with others in the community. Now they are hoping to have a survey out by the end of the year, which you'll be able to weigh in upon. We'll be sure to let you know when that becomes available. Reporting downtown, Emily Miranda, 13 News. 